What is lactation discrimination? This presentation will be given by Eric Sanders Esquire, owner and president of the Sanders firm PC. Purpose of the presentation. The primary purpose of this PowerPoint presentation is to raise awareness with respect to being treated fairly in the workplace if you're a woman who is lactating or expressing milk. Note, these are very, and I mean very, general guidelines. This PowerPoint presentation is not intended to convey specific legal advice or create an attorney-client privilege with the Sanders firm PC or its agents. Important points to remember. Lactation discrimination is a fairly new area of sex or commonly known as gender discrimination. Lactation discrimination is essentially when an employer discriminates against a female employee who is lactating or expressing milk. If you feel that an employer is violating your rights, you can contact the United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission state discrimination and or local discrimination agency to file a complaint. You may also contact an employment lawyer in your area. Discrimination generally. Although there are various forms of discrimination, it is generally defined as a failure to treat all equally. In the employment context on the federal level, the United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, also known as the EEOC, is responsible for the administrative enforcement of the relevant discrimination laws in the workplace. Although at times the EEOC does seek enforcement of the relevant discrimination laws in federal court. Lactation discrimination. Lactation discrimination is a fairly new area of sex, also known as gender discrimination, on the Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 as amended by the Pregnancy Discrimination Act of 1978. It is essentially when an employer discriminates against a female employee who is lactating or expressing milk. In the landmark case of the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission versus Houston Funding II LLC, the court determined that lactation discrimination is unlawful sex discrimination. EEOC versus Houston Funding II LLC. Ms. Denise Aventas worked as an account representative collector for Houston Funding from March 2006 until she was fired in February 2009. In December 2008, she took a leave of absence to have her baby. Ms. Ventas did not specify a date of return. The company had no maternity leave policy. While on maternity leave, Ms. Venters communicated with her supervisor and requested an accommodation when she returned to work. She requested use of a back room to pump breast milk as she was breastfeeding her child. Ms. Venters was told that her accommodation could not be met. Frankly, one of the partners commented, no, maybe she needs to stay home longer. When Ms. Venters returned to work, she was told that her position was filled. The employer thereafter sent a termination letter due to job abandonment. Ms. Venters filed a charge of discrimination with the EEOC alleging sex or gender discrimination. The employer responded by saying that Ms. Venters never contacted her supervisor or attempted to return to work. After investigating Mrs. Venters complaint, the EEOC filed a lawsuit in federal district court against Houston Funding, alleging that she was unlawfully discriminated against based upon sex, including her pregnancy, childbirth, or related medical conditions. Houston Funding moved for and was granted summary judgment with the district court ruling that firing someone because of lactation or breast pumping is not sex discrimination and that lactation is not a related medical condition of pregnancy. The EEOC appealed.
Upon review by the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, it determined that lactation is a related medical condition of pregnancy for purposes of the PDA, also known as the Pregnancy Discrimination Act. Lactation is a physiological process of secreting milk from mammary glands and is directly caused by hormonal changes associated with pregnancy and childbirth. The Court of Appeals remanded the case back to the District Court to resolve with the trial. This case was a victory for pregnant employees who may face sex or gender discrimination by employers. Statistical data. Based on statistical data, the EELC has a long fight ahead of it. According to the EELC, they received 89,385 workplace discrimination charges during fiscal year 2015. There were 3,543 charges filed alleging violations of the Pregnancy Discrimination Act. Although the charges resulted in a monetary recovery of $14.8 million, the overwhelming majority of charges filed, approximately 84%, resulted in no monetary recovery for the charging party. About Eric Sanders Esquire, owner and president of the Sanders firm PC. Eric is an active member of several legal professional organizations, including the National Employment Lawyers Association, also known as NILA. National Employment Lawyers Association, New York Chapter, NILA, New York, American Bar Association, also known as ABA, New York State Bar Association, and American Association for Justice. He has also served as general counsel to the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives, New York Chapter. As a retired police officer, he holds memberships with several professional law enforcement organizations, including the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives, and a Fraternal Order of Police. Eric earned a Bachelor's of Arts degree from Adelphi University and graduated from the St. John's University School of Law. He holds a license of practice in the New York State Courts as well as the Federal Courts in the United States District Courts for the Eastern, Northern, and Southern Districts of New York. He has appeared before the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, New York State Division of Human Rights, NYPD Trial Room, New York City Office of Administrative Trials and Hearings, also known as Oath, as well as other related proceedings. In 2011, Eric received the You Can Go to College Committee Foundation Humanitarian Award. In 2015, Eric received the prestigious 2016 Man of the Year Award from the Culver Chronicles USA. Eric is available to speak about the law, specifically individual rights, as well as other areas. Recently, he appeared as a panelist for a legal symposium hosted by the St. John's University School of Law's Journal for Civil Rights and Economic Development. At the symposium, which was entitled Criminal Justice in the 21st Century, the challenge to protect individual freedoms, civil rights, and our safety, he discussed racial profiling, police accountability, and individual rights. About the Santa's Firm PC. The Santa Firm PC offer those in the New York City area legal services related to and connected to civil rights, civil service rights, criminal law, and discrimination. We firmly believe in everyone's individual rights that are described and guaranteed by the Constitution of the United States of America. We understand that our freedoms and liberties are sac sacrosanct and that they have been won in many and various hard-fought battles. We are committed in every way to protect your civil rights. If you have any questions or comments about the content of the slideshow presentation or general inquiries of the Sands Firm PC, please feel free to contact us on the website at www.thesandersfirmpc.com. 
which is located on each and every one of these slides in this presentation. You can contact us via social media channels or you can contact the New York office or the Yonkers office. This presentation has been presented by Eric Sanders Esquire of the Sanders Firm PC, your voice for justice.